as the 2023 election date is drawing closer and closer, APC has decided to constitute their campaign committee and the committee is consisting of Ushio Mole and other members of, you know, APC that they think that um, can do the job well for them to be able to remain in power come 2023. But before we go ahead and give you the details of the news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. Give this video a mighty thumbs up. Most importantly, turn on the post notification so that you can be notified each time we post a new video. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the details of today's news. Subject to ratification by President Muhammadu Buhari, Plato State Governor Simon Lalong will coordinate the Presidential Campaign Council of a ruling All Progressive Congress (APC) as Director General. His deputy will be former Edo State Governor and ex-National Chairman of the APC. Comrade Adams Oshiomole. In the opposition, PDP crisis teeming from the presidential primaries and nomination of a running mate has caused efforts to raise a campaign council. Sources told Newsroom yesterday that APC presidential candidate Ashiwaju Bola Metinobu is running mate Senator Kashim Shetima and APC governors settled for the duo after a meeting in Abuja on Monday. Indeed, Cardinal State Governor Malam Nasir El Rufai, after the meeting, told journalists that a Director General had been picked for the APC Presidential Campaign Council but refused to disclose the person. The governor said President Buhari and national chairman of the APC, Dr. Abulai Adamu, would be briefed before a formal announcement. This is a delegation of the Progressive Governors Forum, led by our chairman, Dr. Atiku Bagudu, and the party represented by the national secretary. We came to report on an assignment given to us by our presidential candidate, Ashiwaju Bola Metsinubu, and his running mate to begin the broad consultations and develop a structure for the presidential campaign council. We have done some work on it. We have briefed the candidate and his running mate, and inputs have been taken, and our hope is that. In the shortest possible time, the candidates will consult more with the party leadership and brief Mr. President and get his input and then we formally unveil the presidential campaign council. A decision has been taken on the director general, but other positions in the campaign council are still being discussed. The president and the national chairman and national working council will be briefed before a formal announcement, El Rufai said. Adam Zoshio Mole, who attended the meeting, was reported to be the Director General of the APC Presidential Campaign Council, but he denied it. A top party source told news yesterday that Governor Simon Lalong in the cho is the choice of the governors for Campaign Council DG with Oshio Mole as his deputy. Sources said the choice of Director General initially oscillated between Oshio Mole and Lalong. Those pushing for Lalong argue that the APC needs a Northern Christian as DG to assuage the feelings of Northern Christians in the party following the Muslim Muslim ticket of the party. One of those earlier mentioned in connection with the DG position was Governor El Rufai. Party insiders said the APC resolved to appoint a Christian as DG of the campaign council against the bad backdrop of misgivings trailing the Muslim Muslim presidential ticket. Governor El Rufai is a Muslim. 
Meanwhile, the media department of the APC Campaign Council has taken shape. The media department of the APC Campaign Council will be run by a triumvirate of directors made up of Dele Alaki as Director of Strategic Communications, Bayo Ononuga, Director of Media and Publicity, and Festus Kayamo, Director of Public Affairs and Chief Spokesman, a top member of the Tinubu team, told Newsroom yesterday. In the PDP, post-presidential primaries and nomination of vice-presidential candidate crisis has paused effort to raise a campaign council. Some PDP governors and supporters of Governor Nelson Wiki of River State have reportedly listed conditions to take back Atiku. Wiki came second in the presidential primaries. It was the choice of a selected of a selection committee for the vice presidential slot, but Atiku chose Delta State Governor instead. Dr. Oko Ifani Okowa, a development that has been rising dust in the main opposition party, thus barring last minute changes, reconciliation efforts, and the setting up of a presidential campaign council will top the agenda as members of the PDP Board of Trustees and National Working Committee, NWC, meet today. News gathered in Abuja yesterday is that top members of the party have been holding a series of meetings to calm fried nerves ahead of the meeting. A member of the party's BOT, who pleaded anonymity, so as not to preempt the outcome of the meeting, said so much work had gone into the process. The source said, we will be meeting later tomorrow, that is today, to iron out all these issues. They are not as serious as some of you in the media are trying to make it look. Yes, there, is, there are issues as it's normal in politics, are respected governors, irrespective of their presidential aspirants, they supported during the primaries, are interested in the victory of PDP in 2023. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe. Give this video a massive thumbs up. Turn on the post notification so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.